Coming up on SBN, a fresh look at the successful launch for a unique gadget that's making its own market. A good idea investment that takes the guesswork out of gift giving to newlyweds. And gearing up for spring and summer landscaping, all off board, getting mown without the mown. I'm Brian DiNovellis. Welcome to SBN, the Small Business Network. Hello and welcome. You've come to the right place if you're looking for bargains and breakthroughs worthy of your investment in small business startups through crowdfunding and franchising. Today's theme, in case you missed the tease up front, is gadgets, good ideas, and gearing up. Every potential investment for your consideration offers a minimum buy-in of $500 or less. We'll get started with a cavalcade of crowdfunding offers in just a moment, right after these words of wisdom from the corner office. Please stay tuned. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. TV news for today's entrepreneurs. SBN, the Small Business Network, is a division of Privatel Incorporated and does not sell any of the instruments, goods, or services seen here, nor is it a portal to investment opportunities. Please consult with your financial and legal professionals before making any investment. This concept has been registered with the Writers Guild of America. This is SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm Brian DiNovellis, and our theme today is gadgets, good ideas, and gearing up. Our first campaign for your consideration checks all three boxes. Plus, it's a returning success story you've seen before here on SBN. I think we first showed you the Aqua Vault two years ago when it was searching for funding on its own after a positive outcome on ABC's Shark Tank, as they soon found out. And as you already know, it can take several rounds of fundraising when you're trying to bring a product to market. So far, I think the founders have gone about seven rounds, keeping their pace on development and defining the Aqua Vault's market. Wait, what? You don't remember the Aqua Vault? Let's go ahead then and take a look at the campaign's presentation video to get the best look at where they stand currently. My name's Avin Simtani. I'm the co-founder of Aqua Vault. My two partners and I were staying at a hotel in South Beach for a wedding. We stuck our stuff in our towel, in our shoes, Hoped it got there when it got back. Turns out we got there, all our stuff was gone. It was like the worst vacation nightmare ever. We started thinking there should be a safe that attaches to these chairs so you can store your phone, your valuables, things like that. That day, we started drawing stuff on a napkin and the AquaVault was born. Today, AquaVault is already approaching $10 million in sales. We have over 200 resort and theme park clients currently selling and renting our products to guests with thousands more to target. Many of the largest media outlets are taking notice. So you drop this in water. It can go underwater up to 15 feet. Next, this is FlexSafe. This is a great idea. This FlexSafe is literally a portable safe. It's that time of the year when people will hit the pool or the beach. But what do you do with your valuables when you want to take a dip? Hide them and hope nobody takes them? This is the FlexSafe by AquaVault. This is brilliant. And when you talk about a problem-solving uh, item, man, this thing is it. And we already work with a few of the largest hospitality groups in the world. This is your opportunity to invest in one of the fastest growing travel security companies and be a brand ambassador every time you travel. We have obtained a portfolio of patents and trademarks as we continue to innovate and add new products under the AquaVault brand. With a patent pending, our newest product is the Charge Card, an ultra-thin credit card-sized phone charger that's small enough to fit in your wallet. In a $200 billion mobile accessory market, this unique portable charger can be used by anyone with a mobile phone. It's powerful, sleek, and convenient. Never worry about your phone dying while you're on the go. AquaVault has hundreds of positive customer reviews on Amazon. Our guests love the fact that we have the aqua boats, especially for their personal belongings. So when they go in the pool or anything, uh, their stuff yeah. are safe with us. You take it to the beach, you take it to the pool, all your valuables are safe. Great vacation. Be a brand ambassador and help us bring our products to every crowded beach, pool, cruise ship, and water park worldwide. So you may have seen me invest in this company on Shark Tank, and I still work with them, and I am so proud of my guys over at AquaVault who are now giving other people the opportunity to take the ride with them. Invest in AquaVault today. 
The minimum investment in this round for Aqua Vault is $347. We all hope the pandemic is behind us because we like reporting on success stories like the Aqua Vault. If you have questions about investing for yourself, the Small Business Network can help. Please let us know by dropping us an email here. Info at sbncrowd.com. We can connect you with business advisors and legal representatives if need be, including our own legal guru, Mark Roderick, the crowdfunding lawyer. Remember, financing is available for most small business projects, for crowdfunding, and certainly for franchising. Please let us show you how. When we come back, we'll show you how cross-border engagements can help sweeten your deals. And speaking of engagements, we'll find out exactly what Mr. Wonderful Kevin O'Leary has in mind for investing during bridal season. Back in a moment, stay tuned with us. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. A message from all of us here at SBN. If you or anyone you know has ALS, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, or Parkinson's disease, please follow the link on connectsbn.com or simply type into your browser winningthefight.org for help and for more information. Thank you. You're back with us here on SBN, the Small Business Network. Today's theme, gadgets, good ideas, and gearing up. Here's an old one you probably haven't heard since you were a kid. When is a door not a door? When it's a jar. I'm Brian DeNovellis, back with you here on SBN, the Small Business Network. So, for all you puzzle solvers out there, when is a crowdfund not a crowdfund? The answer is when it's a franchise too. You've seen a few offers here on SBN that have been both a crowdfund and likewise a franchise on offer. That's exactly how the founders at Lafayette Franchise Incorporated have set out, giving you greater investment opportunities, bringing to life and to your locale. All the flavor of an artisanal French bakery, whether it's the aroma of baguettes fresh from the oven or putting the finishing touch on a selection of pastries, your customers will be amazed by the world of flavors at your command. Let's have a closer look at the flavors in the investment presentation video for Lafayette Franchise Incorporated. Located in Mirabel, Quebec, the 40,000 square foot facility supports a growing network of bakeries. Each one benefits from the established brand reputation as well as the high capacity production center. Sophisticated French pastries and original creations are prepared here and distributed to each retail location where they are baked fresh daily. Every recipe starts with high quality natural ingredients and all goods are made by hand with care. A team of artisan bakers follows traditional methods when crafting each individual croissant, loaf of bread, and gourmet dessert. They take pride in their attention to detail to ensure exceptional standards, and consistency is maintained when producing at a high capacity. Les Moulins Lafayette has been a benchmark for quality and service from the day its first location opened in Saint-Sauveur, Quebec. Minimum investment in Lafayette Franchise Incorporated as a crowdfund is $200. If you prefer to own your very own Lafayette Franchise, those details are best left up to discussion between franchisor and franchisee. But 
you may find the typical expenses to launch are $375,000. This includes a franchise fee of $30,000, a training fee of $5,000, a royalty fee of 6% of your gross annual revenue, and a marketing fee of 1% of your gross annual revenue. If you'd like to learn more about investment opportunities, the Small Business Network can help. Simply drop us a line by emailing us here, info at connectsbn.com. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including SBN's crowdfunding legal guru, Mark Roderick, the crowdfunding attorney. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including equity crowdfunding and franchising. Please let us show you how. Now, continuing our theme of gadgets, good ideas, and gearing up. Kevin O'Leary, a.k.a. Mr. Wonderful, is gearing up for the bridal season with a revolutionary concept to replace the guesswork in gifting newlyweds. Honey Fund, you've seen it introduced here on SBN. It's the way to invest in your soon-to-be-married friends that extends the value of what you'd normally spend. Let's have a closer look at the presentation video for Honey Fund and see if it becomes a sweet addition to your investment portfolio. Hi, Kevin O'Leary here. Life is expensive and unpredictable. So when Honey Fund came into the Shark Tank pitching their unique platform that turns wedding gifts into cash, I jumped at the opportunity to invest. Everyone attends weddings and everyone brings a gift. As an investor, I love this model because Honey Fund earns money on each and every one of those gestures of love and support. But what about life after the wedding? People still need financial support from friends and family for all of life's milestones and mishaps. And with a global pandemic, they need it now more than ever. That's why Honey Fund is building a permanent lifelong funding platform that doesn't require separate accounts and campaigns. Now they're pioneering the same trend in the larger $130 billion occasion gift market. That's a seven times growth opportunity. And they have a database of seven million people to serve. That's why I'm an investor. Here's how it all works. Step one, create. Using our design tools, you can create a custom Honey Fund page as unique as your love. Whether you create a wish list of experiences or choose a simple donation box, you'll get cash in your bank account for a small processing fee of 2.4%. You can also register for zero fee gift cards from nearly 200 popular travel, dining and shopping brands. So what are you waiting for? You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Minimum investment in Honey Fund is $168. There's a lot to learn about Honey Fund before you invest and the Small Business Network can help. Drop us a line here via email, info at sbncrowd.com. We'll gladly connect you to legal and business investment advisors. And remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including equity crowdfunding and franchising. Please let us show you how. We're back with more after this short break. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. A message from all of us here at SBN. If you or anyone you know has ALS, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, or Parkinson's disease, please follow the link on connectsbn.com or simply type into your browser winningthefight.org for help and for more information. Thank you. Welcome back to SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm your host, Brian DeNovellis, and I hope you're ready for the big reveal. Wait, this isn't that type of show. There aren't any door prizes, although you might find your fair share of surprises, especially when it comes to gadgets that could actually open your eyes to augmented and improved vision. The gadget of this moment is called iDaptic. As the presentation materials say, iDaptic glasses use augmented reality technology to improve vision for those who suffer from AMD, age-related macular degeneration and other central vision impairments. So you may be thinking, this doesn't sound like a gadget. It sounds like a solid medical breakthrough in vision care. That may be exactly what it turns out to be. but. I think you owe it to yourself to realize whether it began as a doodad, a widget, or a drawing on a cocktail napkin. Ideas and entrepreneurs are everywhere, and tomorrow's going to be another day. 
Let's stop the anticipation and take a closer look at iDaptic. Adaptic is an augmented reality visual aid company. When I founded this company, I had a long and successful career in technology. My grandmother and great-grandmother had AMD, and I wondered, is there something we can do? So together with a strong co-founding team of technologists and retina specialists, we embarked on helping people with AMD. We then recruited a world-class team of advisors in ophthalmology, optometry, low vision, and successful CEOs with early stage investing experience. With multiple patents pending, we are raising further funds to bring our next product to the market. There are nearly 400 million people in the world today with retinal disease and nearly half of them have macular degeneration. And 90% of those people, 150 million people, have dry AMD. That's a disease that has no therapy of any kind, certainly no cure. We are providing them help with Idaptic. We are enhancing vision with software using image processing and machine learning algorithms to help simulate natural vision. A macular degeneration causes a loss of central vision, which is the ability to see fine details. This loss of vision can make everyday tasks harder and rob people of their independence. Our device is an FDA class one exempt device, which means we don't need any regulatory approval. But we ran a clinical trial anyway. Users with our device were able to do activities of daily living, regular life tasks, and reading that they were not able to do with their glasses. Five times as many people were able to do a given task with our device, but not with their glasses. This doubled their visual acuity, effectively moving them out of the legally blind category. When we compared what the patients could do before with just their glasses, whatever they used prior to the study, and then with the AR glasses on both reading and tasks, we found that they were able to see quite a bit further down on the reading chart, so at least twice the improvement. And then all patients were able to do at least one of those three tasks. And before, there were 13 patients that couldn't do any of the tasks, not even a single one. Idaptic's mission is to help those with low vision lead a more normal life. Anything from reading, paying bills, watching TV, or even going to the grocery store becomes possible again. Our AR visual aid helps optimize the remaining peripheral vision with our image enhancing technologies. Our hands-free approach adapts not only to the user, but to their environment and preserves their mobility. So adapted glasses can help restore independence, like seeing your grandchildren again, going to the store, or being able to read on your own. Be part of investing in our visual aid solution and help over 150 million people worldwide. You can help people like Brian, who is a software engineer and uses our glasses every day on the computer to help him live the life he wants to lead. Help others realize their dream by investing in Idaptic. Thank you. Minimum investment in Idaptic is $249.60. I'm biting my lip just a little bit to keep from saying, wow, what an option to improve quality of life for people suffering from macular degeneration. If you have questions about investing in iDaptics, the Small Business Network can help. Please let us know by dropping us an email here, info at sbncrowd.com. We can connect you with business advisors and legal representatives if need be, including our own legal guru, Mark Roderick, the crowdfunding attorney. Remember, financing is available for most small business projects for crowdfunding and certainly for franchising. Please let us show you how. So, we'll keep an eye out. For iDaptics, I do know someone who might like to offer up his current visual ability. You know, in the interest of medical technology. We're back in just a moment after this quick word from our sponsors. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network, TV news for today's entrepreneurs. A message from all of us here at SBN. If you or anyone you know has ALS, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, or Parkinson's disease, please follow the link on connectsbn.com or simply type into your browser winningthefight.org for help and for more information. Thank you. I am blind, but I need not see. I know this road is there for me. 
Hello and welcome back to SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm your host, Brian DiNovellis, and our theme in this edition, Gadgets, Good Ideas, and Gearing Up. Next in its own category that ticks all the boxes, it's Grays. Such a laid back name for an effective, action-oriented gadget writ large. What is Grays, you may ask? It's the latest in automated lawn management. And if I'm 100% understanding the presentation materials, you'll never break a sweat using it to get your lawn mowed. Grays is an autonomous, riderless lawn mower. That doesn't quite feel like enough praise for a device that wants to give back your weekend quality time. So let's see if Grays is a trim fit in your investment planning. Hi, I'm John Vallee, and today I'm going to talk to you about the landscape industry. Yeah, I know it may sound boring, but that's precisely why this industry presents a massive opportunity. You see, the landscape industry is $100 billion a year, and that's in the United States alone. It's projected to hit $140 billion by 2024. That's stability and growth in an industry that's seen very little innovation over the past 100 years. The industry is completely dependent on manual labor with low margins, high turnover, and an overwhelming lack of environmental regulation. Did you know that a gas-powered mower running for one hour emits about as much as a car like this for 40 hours? This is among the many reasons the landscape industry is stuck in the past, and we're gonna change that. Hey everybody, hey Philip, why don't you join us? Right now in commercial landscaping, labor accounts for half of gross revenue. And by simply adding a fully autonomous lawnmower like Gray's, we'd be able to potentially cut that down to half, if not more. This is a very complex challenge between the autonomous driving, the computer vision, and the fleet management. But that's the type of challenge that excites engineers like us. And John is so good at taking the technical and using his knowledge and experience from landscaping to make sure that the innovations that we bring are practical and applicable to the industry. Our goal is to make Graze as easy, fast, and universal as possible. That's why you can operate it from a computer, a tablet, or even a smartphone. You map the perimeter using a tablet as the controller. Then the system knows the boundaries and then goes fast in parallel paths and will repeat with precision and consistency every time. All of our innovations are tested in the field. We're already working with corporate partners for big deployments, and we're listening to them, iterating based on real-time feedback. Our prototype, too, has a more robust design. A slider that has swappable decks at the front eventually will provide a fully autonomous landscaping solution. Our ability to bring the existing landscape industry and the landscape professional into the future with us is our key to success. There are a few industries as old as landscaping. It's withstood depressions, world wars, and pandemics, and it will continue on. And we're here to make our mark and change things for the better. We hope you'll join us. Now let's go make some old money. Minimum investment in grays is $498.80. If you think an advanced design smart lowing lawnmower device isn't in your future, then let me remind you. You'd better stock up on sunscreen and apply a good measure of elbow grease when you go out to mow this summer. So, want to know more about grays? Of course you do, and the Small Business Network can help. Please let us know by dropping us an email here, info at sbncrowd.com. We can connect you with business advisors and legal representatives if need be, including our own legal guru, Mark Roderick, the crowdfunding attorney. Remember, financing is available for most small business projects, for crowdfunding, and certainly for franchising. Please let us show you how. Coming up next, look, there in the field, it's an RV. It's a dollhouse for giants. No, it's an ADU. We'll show you what that stands for. It's one of the coolest good ideas we've seen lately. Back in a moment, you're watching SBN, the Small Business Network.
Did you know dragging chains can spark a wildfire? Only you can prevent wildfires. Welcome back to SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm Brian DeNovellis, glad to have you along. Hey, what would you say if I told you there's a quiet revolution going on in the market for affordable housing? There are actually people seeking to downsize to the bare essentials, a place to call home. The people I'm talking about are downsizing purposefully, apparently loving every minute of the experience. It's not an RV, it isn't a backyard playhouse for kids, but what it is may astound you. They're called ADUs, Accessory Dwelling Units. From the founders at Wilderwise, we're talking about a tiny home that offers mobility, durability, and all the comforts of home. If you like the idea of living with less negative impact on the environment, if you're thinking about downsizing to improve your quality of life or at least change your perspective, this may be just what you always imagined. Let's delve a little deeper into your potential investment in tiny homes from the founders at Wilderwise. In the current state of the world, the need for sustainable and affordable housing is larger than ever. We're here to meet this need with a hybrid solution that could fundamentally disrupt the existing markets. My name is Aria and I am the CEO and co-founder of Wilderwise. We design and build eco-innovative tiny homes on wheels with a vision for climate protection and social change. And now you can share in this vision by becoming an investor. We've seen that in recent years, tiny houses have exploded in popularity, but innovation has been stagnant. Our competitors have merely taken standard building practices and implemented them on a smaller scale. The average tiny house is arduous to build, difficult to transport, and susceptible to mold and deterioration, not to mention that most only offer a three to four foot loft for sleeping. At Wilderwise, we do things differently. With a heavy focus on engineering, We've created a lightweight, modular, two-story, off-grid capable tiny house that bridges the gap between three alternative housing industries. Our hybrid offering is customizable and eco-friendly like a tiny house, lightweight and functional like an RV, and has modular capabilities like many accessory dwelling units. This concept has been in development for nearly five years, with 2020 being our most exciting year to date. In the last nine months, we've launched our website, grown our team, built a custom factory, garnered more than 120 pre-order requests, accepted delivery of custom parts and raw materials, and are finally beginning the production of our flagship tiny home. Our dream is to make home ownership accessible to all, to spur an evolution in the way people live, and to offer the means to personal and financial freedom. With the COVID-19 pandemic and ever-growing housing, climate, and debt crises, Wilderwise is poised to provide the alternative housing solution that the world so desperately needs. We are now at a pivotal point. Our flagship offering is entering the market and zoning laws nationwide are becoming more tiny house friendly. With the support of a community of like-minded people like you, we can achieve our mission of reshaping the housing industry and helping people to reach their full potential. Learn more about becoming an investor in Wilderwise at our page on Start Engine. Your minimum investment in Wilderwise is 250 bucks. If your interest have been piqued about the possibilities of finding a place to call home when you're out in the wilderness, Wilderwise may be your solution. There are a lot of questions that come to mind before you invest, and the Small Business Network can help you find the answers. Drop us a line here, info at sbncrowd.com. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including SBN's crowdfunding legal guru, Mark Roderick, the crowdfunding attorney. Remember, financing is available for most small business projects, for crowdfunding, and certainly for franchising. Please let us show you how. So, that wraps up this edition for gadgets, good ideas, and gearing up. We hope you've seen something to consider for your next investment and hope, too, you'll join us again next time. Until then, good heart, good health, and good investments. 
I'm Brian Dinabellis. From all of us here, thanks for watching SBN, the Small Business Network. TV news for today's entrepreneurs.